With the Advantech subfloor assembly, you can be sure that you're building a reputation on something stronger. And the best builders, well, they may always stand apart, but they never stand alone. So ask yourself, are you bringing your A-game? Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, Before the Build series. So, today, guess what? Roof plan. Talked about roof framing last week. Just moving up through the building, through the set of drawings there, and uh, we're moving on to the roof plan. So, broke out the roof plan here. We're going to look at it in a minute. And, uh, you know, the initial response is going to be, uh, hey, you know, it's a pretty boring drawing, but... The roof plan for this house is everything but boring. Um, we uh, proved uh, some uh, pretty spectacular feats on this roof plan. So anyways, follow along. Let's dive in the details and uh, I'll tell you what we did. All right. So here's the roof plan. You can see this one's a pretty simple roof on this house. There's not a lot of house. We don't have a lot of... Uh, penetrations or um, you know dormers and in that type but basically it's uh, four planes right we have the plane that's over the owner suite the one that's over that main box that comes all the way up basement two stories and then that roof and then we have that low angled long roof it goes over the living space and over that deck it's a pretty much a cantilever from there out and then we have that small section here which is half dining room and then half entryway here and, uh, and then we have that walkway that continues and that's basically uh, a flat roof although no roof is ever flat you can see we call out the pitches here it's an adhered membrane roof um, it's a quarter of an inch per foot slope there you can see it slopes this way and it slopes that way basically on that line so we basically have a drip at the end there drip here drip there now the other three roofs here we have those that's one in 12 sloping that way that way that way and um one of the interesting things is when we did the drawings, we had this as an adhered membrane roof. Um, you can see here, and I could have edited it for this video, but I didn't. But we ended up switching it to a metal roof. All right, we uh, changed that. We talked it over with the clients. They desired the change. So we did a standing seam metal roof that you saw the ribs run in that direction, ribs run in this direction, over here ribs run in this direction because this is a roof that's like that. Same with this roof here. This is up here like that. And then this one here is a roof that is like that, right? Now, one of the really interesting things about this roof is, like I said, it's a 1 in 12 pitch, which means for every foot we go out, it goes down one inch so for every 12 inches it goes down now typically on a 1 in 12 anywhere say 1 in 12 up to well you can surpass 3 and 12 and you can put it on anything but typically um, metal roofs we can do them at 1 in 12 2 and 12 3 and 12 all the way up you know past 12 and 12 um, but if you were doing this as an asphalt roof, we would probably start it out at, you know, somewhere around a 3 and 12, 4 and 12 is about where you would start using an asphalt roof. So once you get lower than that, down in the 2s or 1s, you're either into a metal roof or you're into this adhered membrane roof. And then if you're looking at what we call a flat roof, but it isn't, it's a quarter of an inch per foot, then we're definitely into you know, the adhered membrane roof. But the really interesting thing that was uh, somewhat uh, innovative and um, 
building science uh, breakthrough here is that we did a 1 in 12 and typically up to about the 3 and 12 or down to the 3 and 12 you can do vented roof assemblies um, and then below 3 and 12 you typically do unvented or some people would call them another term is a hot roof and a hot roof just means as opposed to a cold roof means that it's vented so if you have the roof here you have some kind of air intake here some kind of air release there and air moves up through the roof right so you have an air intake here an air release on the high side and somewhere in here we have venting capability but when you get down to the, the 1 and 12 or say below the 3 and 12 definitely at the 1 and 12 the building science um, majority says that you really shouldn't vent that but we had what I would consider some special cases um, on these roofs. One, this isn't really that wide. So it's only about 18 feet. And it is pretty long. All right. So we get over that, even though it's a 1 in 12, we're getting 3 or 4 feet of rise by the time we get up here. Maybe even a little bit more than that. All right, so if we're at plus three feet there, um, that means that you know, we're getting, a, even at a one and 12, we're getting a decent rise here of that three feet. But the other thing, like I was mentioning, is that 18 foot plays a major role in that the middle of this roof is really not that far from the edges. So I was thinking if we can use this whole area as an intake but we can also use the space down the side or what we call the rake and then we have the exhaust or release valve whatever you want to call it up there we don't have a whole lot of roof here so could we develop a way to get the air in through this rake and really flood this with enough air i mean the whole purpose of venting a roof right is to take any moisture that's migrating up through the system get it on that airstream and whisk it away so we took that one in 12 we did this as a double layered roof um, and double layered meaning we sheathed it and then we put furring strips on it because it was so shallow we're going to pack this with insulation i wanted to ensure that we had a strong airstream to go up through that roof and then um, vent it out on the top and so we actually did a, a series of roof sheathing we did a two by four chase basically that was open and then that air could go and run up that inch and a half chase and get released up here. But over here on the rakes, what we did was we ran a, a series of two by four cripples out that grabbed our little two by four rakes. And then inside we ran this series of two by fours. So you had the air was able to come up and get into these raceways, but you also had the side feeding those raceways. And what we did was in the lower sheathing, we just cut out a series of holes so that the air from the lower section down in here could get up into that raceway. So Basically, it's a very open vented roof system where the rakes are contributing, a large eave is contributing, and then we have that release valve on the high side. And the important thing also to note on this particular house, we had our good friend Peter Yost um, 
from the Unbuild It podcast, we were all out there um, taping some podcasts, and Peter brought down his toys, and we actually, we didn't do it on the house, but we did it on the garage, which has exactly the same roof design and uh, roof slope, um, roof details, etc. And that had a 1 in 12. It was probably about 36 feet long. This one's a little bit longer. But when we put smoke here, the guys weren't even prepared. In about 28 seconds, we were bleeding smoke out of the high side there. So we basically had that 1 in 12. We knew it was venting. We weren't forcing the air in there. We were just smoking the soffit so that the air or the, the smoke would move with the airstream, whichever way it went. And it just so happened that the airstream was getting sucked in, being induced by that stack effect. And in 28 seconds, we were bleeding a vented 1 in 12 roof. So anyways, stay tuned. Later as we get into the drawings, we have a whole bunch of details. We have a rake detail here that we're going to go through. We have the vented um, soffit detail that we'll go through and we'll talk about. But uh, catch, us, catch up with us in uh, a couple uh, videos from now and uh, we'll talk more about the specific details. This is a little bit of a teaser. But uh, hey, before we go, stay tuned. Got a nice little slideshow here some of the uh, construction picks tease you along. So enjoy. <laughs> 